calculating the pH after a neutralization reaction. Calculate the pH of the resulting solution when 250 milliliters of a 0.15 molar solution of hypochlorous acid is mixed with 250 milliliters of a 0.15 molar solution of potassium hydroxide. First, before you do anything, think about what you're reacting. Hypochloric ac hypochlorous acid is a weak acid. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base. When you react an acid with a base in such a way, the reaction goes to completion. So the next thing you do is write down the formula of all of the reactants and products and balance the reaction. So potassium hydroxide aqueous solution reacts completely with hypochlorous acid to give the salt potassium hypochlorate uh, which is a soluble salt plus water. Okay, so that's the chemical change. Now, the next thing you want to recognize is, um, you know, what's in the solution? How am I going to determine the pH of the solution? I have to know what's in the solution. So first of all, I know that I'm going to have some product, which is the soluble salt, which is going to be the potassium ion plus the hypochlorite anion and of course water. I'd like to know if there's any acid, weak acid, or strong base in excess that could affect the pH of this solution. So I look back at, um, at the uh, chemical equation and the amounts. I have 250 milliliters of the acid and it's a 0.15 molar concentration. I have 250 milliliters of the base and it's a 0.15 molar concentration. So it's the same amount of the same concentration of bases that react in a one-to-one -one molar ratio. So I know that I'm going to react away completely um, all of the acid and base so there will be no reactants uh, left over in the solution. So um, I need to figure out the number of moles of each of these so I can predict the number of moles of product here. So 0 0.25 uh, liters times 0.15 molar gives me the number of moles that I'm reacting, 0 0.0375 moles of the acid, and it's the same uh, amount and concentration, so that would be 0 0.03, oh my goodness, 375 moles of the base react completely away, because there's equal molar amounts, and it's a one-to-one -one molar ratio, minus 0 0.375, to give, I'm making point 0, 0.375 moles of the salt and of course water which we don't um, worry about. So now we want to know what is the pH of the solution. So indeed in this particular solution I've mixed um, 250 milliliters of the acid and the base so the total solution volume is 500 milliliters. I have um, in solution this soluble salt um, potassium uh, hypochlorite and of course water and I have 0 0.0375 moles of the salt, so that means 0.375 moles of potassium and 0 0.0375 moles of the um, anion of that acid. Now this particular acid, hypochlorous acid, is a weak acid, so that tells me that this is the conjugate base partner of that weak acid. It's the uh, acid minus the proton, so it's the conjugate base partner. So I know that this particular conjugate base is going to act like a weak base in water. Okay. The potassium ion, on the other hand, is the conjugate partner of a strong base, so it's not going to have any acidic properties whatsoever. So it's just going to be a spectator. Okay. So in this solution then, what's going to control the pH of the solution is going to be the concentration of the weak base. So to figure out the pH of the solution, I have to first figure out the concentration of the weak base. And so the concentration of the weak base is going, um, which is the hypochlorite anion, is going to be the number of moles of the base, which is 0 0.0375 moles in the total solution, which is 0.5 liters. So the concentration of this weak base, the molar concentration, is going to be 0 0.75 molar. So that's the concentration of my, um, my weak base. 
Now, to determine the pH of the solution, I have to think about how this particular anion behaves in water. Okay, so I have to write up a little ionization equation. In water, what's really going on is this is acting like a, a weak base, so that means it's going to be a proton acceptor, and it's going to um, accept a proton from the water to end up with uh, HOCl plus the hydroxide ion. Now, this is a weak equilibria, um, and and so the Kb for this particular weak base, I cannot find, if I look it up in a table, instead I have to calculate it from the Ka of HOCl. I have to I have to figure out the Ka of HOCl, and remember that the Ka times the Kb equals Kw for a um, conjugate acid weak base partnership. Okay, from that relationship, I can calculate the Kb for this particular equilibrium expression, and it's going to equal 2.9 times 10 to the negative 7, which is going to equal the concentration at equilibrium of the acid times the hydroxide ion divided by the weak base. Okay, and so the concentrations, what are they going to be? Well, if I start off with a, a concentration of 0 0.075 of my weak base, I know I'm going to um, produce a little bit of, I'm going to lose a little bit of that, and I'm going to produce a little bit of the um, acid and the hydroxide ion, so that at equilibrium, um, I'm going to have 0 0.075 minus x, x and x, and I can plug those values back up into this equilibrium expression, it's going to be x, times x divided by 0 0.075 minus x. This um, equilibrium is a very tiny number, so I can very easily ignore that number. So it's going to be x squared divided by 0 0.075. Okay, now solving for x, x is going to equal 2.9 times 10 to the negative 7 times 0 0.075, taking the square root of that product and x equals, um, when you do the work, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4. Now what is x? We're trying to figure out the pH of this solution, and x in this case is the um, hydroxide ion concentration, and so the hydroxide ion concentration equals 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4. I can calculate from that the pOH, equals the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And um, from plugging that value in there, pOH equals negative log 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4. And the pOH equals, um, let's see, what is that number? 3.8. All right, but really we wanted to know the pH. And so the pH equals 14 minus the pOH, which is in this case 3.8. So the pH equals 10.2. So when we have a neutralization reaction, uh, let's go back up here. When we have a neutralization reaction between a weak acid and a strong base in equal molar ratios, we end up with a base, uh, we end up with a salt that behaves as like a base in solution due to the presence of the um, weak conjugate base partner of the acid. All right, so in this case we end up with a, a basic solution. Okay, a basic solution. Uh, the pH was 10.2. Uh, which is in the basic range, and it's because the salt that was formed was what we call a basic salt because it was the, um, the result of the ionization of the weak base.